we talked about the end goal because we I, I was asking you during the photo shoot that um, you've done a couple really smart things. One is you you own all masters to your music. Own all my masters. You own all your publishing. Own all my publishing. And so that's a huge job. Mm -hmm. That's. Yeah, there's no not not splits you have to worry about. It means that Nothing. the you can be super motivated to be even more successful because you know there aren't people taking a third and a third exactly. and a third exactly. or whatever it is. Yep. But uh, but you also are reinvesting all the time in other startups. Mm -hmm. uh, amazing, you know the fashion brand, the liquor brand. You're into some other IT stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Or other some tech, yeah. some tech stuff. We have two tech initiatives we're launching. Um, I don't want to announce one just yet That's because fine. we're putting it together. My point was though that you're rolling like you're you're successful as music as a musician and a rapper and a performer, but you're using that money to a larger goal. You could be temporarily satisfied and take the paycheck and uh, and go live a, a wonderful affluent lifestyle if you choose to. Mm -hmm. But you talk about your larger vision because I was impressed by that. Yeah, um, it's it's never just about the one thing. It's never about being so comfortable that you think just this one thing would be enough to sustain. Mm -hmm. um, there's opportunities inside of opportunities mm -hmm. all the time, and that's the way I operate most of the time. Um, like the, the Ambiance GR uh, cocktail lounge and yeah. kitchen, we got that coming up uh, into this year. I mean, that's a huge project, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, not only does it take money to make money, but you have to be able to pinpoint and strategize what's going to work, where mm -hmm. should you put things. But... My end, like my end all be all is to make sure I can set up enough residual situations, enough uh, empowering, you know, mm -hmm. business moves. I can provide a lot of jobs out of a nightclub. I can provide a lot of jobs with a liquor company. I can, mm -hmm. I can do a lot. As, as a musician, there's a lot of jobs. And, yeah. you know, if I could do things for other people and empower, and empower my family and empower my people mm -hmm. and ownership is what we talk about all the time. Yeah. I own these things. Like, you know, yeah. nobody can take it from me, you know, except for me. Like, you know what I mean? Right, like, right. You exactly. know what I mean? So like as long as I make the right decisions and I'm fair with my partners and we making, you know, the right, right moves, it's something we can give to our great great grandkids. It's a generational thing. Mm -hmm. Like like um, people say, you know, hustle for your last name, not your first name. You know what I mean? Right. Like legacy, right? Legacy. Yeah. And that's what it's about. So all the moves I'm making, I, I want to be able to have something that my kids can inherit. Like Tupac said, he said, as a young black person, it's a lot of pressure because most of us, in most situations, we have to create legacies. We have to build empires and build these dynasties mm -hmm. and build these, you know, these concepts and these businesses for our kids to inherit. You know, a lot of people from our community that didn't have the advantages to inherit anything. You know right. what I mean? Exactly. So it falls on our it's generation. All, first generation has gen got to do it. Exactly. Like, I mean, I mean, you're not I'm, immigrants, but you're like, you're sort of like immigrants in the entrepreneurial tech space. Like a, you're, you're on that, yeah. that first wave of like the economy and the, the democratization of connection through, through technology and the internet For and sure. business platforms and social platforms. For sure. You are on that first wave. Exactly. Yeah. Our generation is, we're tasked to create these things. Yeah. You know, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't inherit a lot. You know what I mean? Right. We had to, we had to make it, you know? And um, yeah, I, I, so I'm definitely just obsessed with that concept. Yeah. So any dollar I make is split up between three or four investments, and then mm -hmm. you save some, and then yeah. you, you know, it, it's just yeah, you it's gotta just, have fun too. You gotta have some fun, <laughs> and I do that. <laughs> I have too much fun sometimes, <laughs> but we do that. Well, good so, because so uh, between fun and investing and saving, and yeah. you know, you well, you're living a full that life. That's it. This Full Exposure Podcast episode has been made possible through the support of Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, and Dr. Peter Hahn, who believe that creativity and the arts are essential to a rich, healthy, and fulfilling life.